You think about a 4th of July picnic, watermelon comes oh, yeah. to the minds of many. Yeah, but this year it might be hard to find that perfect watermelon. Don't want to hear that. Mm. Kate Kate's West Rappaport now explains why some Texas farmers are worried about delivering their best crop for the upcoming holiday. We're going to get this one. Okay. And then one of those. Okay. It doesn't take long to see melons are on the minds of people in Luling, Texas. This is in my blood. Gary Collins no. sold his first watermelon here 66 no. years ago, no. the same year the watermelon thump started. The festival celebrates the summer staple. Straight from the field. Collins says this year's crop is behind because the ground was too cold. Well, we always try to plant around the first week in March, but the ground didn't warm up this year until. Might near the first part of May. We're about two weeks late in harvest this year. Two weeks late means missing peak watermelon time when the country celebrates Independence Day. Everybody has to have a piece of watermelon on the 4th of July because it's always hot on the 4th of July. So this year we're going to have watermelons that will be available. Maybe not the peak amount that we would typically see. Dr. Larry Stein with the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension says the Lone Star State leads the country in watermelon production, a nearly $90 million industry last year. Start in the lower valley, move up to the Winter Garden, East Texas, Luling, of course, then you go to the central part of the state, Comanche, De Leon, then you end up on the South Plains, you know, the Lubbock area. Growers like Gary Collins keep thumping away. Just do what I can do and be thankful for it. Earning a living and treating each season like it's his last. I enjoy it. And it's something I can do and I know how and my heart's in it. Wes Rappaport, KETK News. Now, Dr. Stein says most of the crop around the state thankfully avoided major pests and diseases. And while the rain affects how fast the melons grow, it's actually the sunshine that affects the flavor. Oh, I know.